Hi, my name's Maddie, and I'm from DeWitt High School. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own camera obscura, or camera in a box. Be sure to get an adult to help you with this project. The supplies you need are a small box, an empty soup can, duct tape, white tissue paper, and a rubber band. The tools you'll need are a hammer, a small nail, scissors, a box cutter, a penny, and a pen or pencil. What you'll need to do first is punch a small hole in the closed end of the soup can using the hammer and nail. Remove the nail from the can. Next, on the end of the box, trace the outline of the diameter of the soup can right in the center. On the opposite end of the box, trace the outline of the penny, again right in the center. This will be your viewing hole. Using a box cutter, cut out each circle. Again, make sure to ask a parent for help with this. Using the scissors, cut out a square of tissue paper large enough to cover the open end of the soup can. Wrap the open end of the soup can with tissue paper and secure it with a rubber band. From the inside of the box, push the closed end of the soup can out about halfway and secure it in place with duct tape. We're almost done. Now you can seal the rest of the box with duct tape, making sure to cover any seams or holes to prevent any extra light from getting in. Now you can take your camera obscura outside or to any bright areas for viewing. When you look inside the viewing hole, you will see the world around you projected onto the tissue paper inside the camera. You will notice that the images are upside down. This happens because light rays from every point of the scene you are viewing travel in a straight line. They go through the nail hole and are captured by the tissue paper. You can also put a towel over your head to help block the light. The earliest references to these principles date back more than 2,500 years. You can also make your own room obscure using these methods. All you need is a room with one window opposite of a white wall or white sheet. Cover the window with dark material, such as cardboard, leaving a small space for the lens. A one to two inch hole works great for a lens. The room must be completely dark. You have to allow time for your eyes to adjust to the image. You can see a room in a different light. You could consider Room Obscura to be a precursor to movie theaters. Isn't that cool? So there you have it, a homemade camera obscura. Now you, try this. Thank <laughs> you.